Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you all have had a great week. I hope you all are looking forward to the weekend and if you're not, then I hope you endure the weekend. I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, hello, hello, and welcome back. We're we're back for the first Gotham Knights stream of the year. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Nightwing's excited. You can see his little excited face here in the bottom, in this corner right here. But before we get to you, Nightwing, just hold that thought for just a second. Uh, go back to looking out over the city. Uh, we are... Uh, before we get properly started, just a quick couple of uh, quick order of business, uh, and that is that I have a Patreon, patreoncom slash Knight, spelled exactly how it's shown on screen. If you go to patreoncom you can help support me and continue to uh, ensure that I'm able to make content like this, or even make better content than this, um, <clears throat> and various other things of the ilk. Uh, so yeah, please check that out, patreon.com slash crimson knight. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you, if you don't want to, uh, worry about typing that in, uh, there should be somewhere either on my Twitch page or if you're watching this on YouTube down in the description of my YouTube video, there should be a link to the link tree somewhere. Um, and if you use that, then you can absolutely... Uh, find a link to my patreon as well as some other things but you know that's where that all is so yes that's uh that B uh, order of up uh, oh my god quick order of business taken care of um so let's get back to it shall we um all right so, I have done a shit ton of fucking grinding uh, over the course of the holiday. I played this game quite a bit. Um, I have unlocked some skills uh, that I didn't have, uh, some, some skills that helps me on the right screen that I didn't have before. Uh, basically upgraded some of the uh, Nightwing's bouncing ability, upgraded uh, his precise strikes, his evasion, uh, some other stuff. He's got better gear now for 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 now. Um, and he does some uh, uh, el elemental damage sometimes, stuff like that. Um, but I have also uh, completed quite a bit of the collectibles because you can see. Oops, darn, wrong button. Come on. Come on. Why, why am you not there? Um, the collectibles. You could see them. Previously, we were able to see them here in the challenges. They are not there anymore. Uh, we currently have... Uh, new database things. Let me clear those out real quick. <coughs> but we have here... The complete Gotham City Street Art Collection. I'm going to quickly show this stuff off. Um, we've got the Bowery's, the Pr Bristol's, Cauldron, Financial District, the Gotham Heights District, Old Gotham District, Otisburg District. Robinson Park District, the Cauldron, I believe again. Yes, the second Cauldron. Uh, West End, another West End, and Tri-Corner again. Um, we've completed all of the... We've found all of the Batarangs. And so here, we're briefly going through all of the comic book covers uh, from, from that we've collected from that. Oh, look at them. There he is wearing my favorite version of his suit. There's Tim wearing his uh, my favorite version of the, that suit. Red Hood. 
Tim wearing his red robin outfit. Again, red robin outfit, uh, variation at least, uh, with the old robin, the old standard robin outfit there in his hands. And red robin again, fighting red hood. And now we also have all of Bruce's audio logs. So we're going to start out the stream by listening to those. All right, we've already listened to this one. Well, we'll listen to them all. We'll listen to them all. <clears throat> this is log entry BT01. Alfred has encouraged me to make time for this. Personal record feels meaningless when there's so much work to be done. But he doesn't ask me for much. So it's been a year since I came back to Gotham. There was always darkness in this city. It used to be insidious. Now it's out in the open. The police ignore violence and embrace corruption. Someone had to do something. Batman felt necessary. A year later, it's clear he is necessary. He's the one who speaks the only language Gotham's enemies understand. Violence and fear. It's working. I'm starting to rein in the chaos. But I need to be more careful. Batman is always on the edge of a knife. If I let him go too far, he becomes one of them. That can't happen. Batman can't kill criminals. He needs to demonstrate a higher standard. As Alfred put it, surrendering to violent impulses is easy. Controlling them is what takes courage. Gotham doesn't need a Batman with blood on his hands. I'm doing my best. But there's always room for Batman to improve. Not all of these criminals need to be hurt. Some of them just need help. <clears throat> Alfred was right. This did make me feel a little better. Or at least, I think I understand all of this more. Maybe this record will be useful someday. If I ever have doubts about Batman, Gotham, or any of it. But that's definitely for later. For now, Batman has so much left to do. Log entry BT-17. So much has changed since I recorded the first one of these. I spent the entire time thinking Batman could do this alone, in complete secrecy. But that's just not possible. Besides Alfred, there are two people on the planet who know Batman's true identity. And only because I told them. It's a risk I don't regret. Jim Gordon earned the right to know. He's the only cop in Gotham I truly trust. And I've learned so much from him. Especially about how we achieve justice. I envisioned Batman as vengeance, but Jim helped me make something more out of it. I never wanted to be a detective, but I'm good at it, and he makes me better. What I like most about Jim is that he doesn't want the recognition. He only wants to do what's right. Lucius Fox has me thinking a lot about what right means. When I asked him to help Batman, <laughs> Lucius wanted nothing to do with it. Justice defined by a white man with wealth and power is hardly justice, he said. It's a crusade. That's why I love Lucius. He doesn't care what Bruce Wayne thinks of him. At all. But he cares deeply about what Batman stands for. Lucius is... my moral compass. Once I realized that, he finally agreed to get involved. I'm grateful he started by saying no. He was right. Batman shouldn't be a caped crusader. Gotham deserves a better kind of night. Log entry BT-28. It's New Year's Eve at... Huh. I suppose it's New Year's Day. Anyway, Alfred asked about my New Year's resolution. What does Bruce Wayne want to achieve this year? I didn't have an answer for him, so he locked me down here with my tea until I figured it out. <laughs> Batman's purpose is clear. Mine... isn't. <clears throat> Besides Batman, 
There's not a lot I care about. I didn't love saying that out loud. It makes me sound like one of them. The tricksters and clowns and gangsters across Gotham who... <sighs> I can't even talk to myself without talking about Batman. About protecting people. It's all I'm good at. Maybe that's it. I'm spending this fortune on Batmobiles, building this enormous cave. Meanwhile, Gotham has problems Batman can't solve. But... Bruce Wayne might be able to. Jim Gordon's worried about being able to put his daughter through college. Lucius mentioned how great it would be to have a foundation that helps disadvantaged youth study tech. I can take the hint. Then there's always providing relief for the homeless. The Dark Knight works alone, but Bruce Wayne doesn't have to. So, I suppose my resolution is to invest in other people. Alfred will like that. Maybe enough to let me back upstairs and let me sleep in my bed. <laughs> because that medical gurney is really uncomfortable. Log entry BT-79. In a move that surprises even me, I've hired Harley Quinn as a research partner. Or rather, I've hired Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a trained psychiatrist whose work in criminal profiling surpasses even mine. Of course, some of that work is based on her personal experience as a criminal. While this aspect of her history is impossible to overlook, in this instance, it's invaluable. It took less convincing than I thought to gain her cooperation. A chance to do good, small honorarium, and a ride in the Batwing were all the perks she requested. My contacts tell me Harley is comfortably installed at Blackgate. It's genius on her part. No one will suspect her presence, even if she's not actually serving a sentence right now. It puts her in the perfect location to carry out the research I need. It does also put her back into the criminal lifestyle we'd all prefer she left behind. But I will check in on her progress occasionally. I've given her the pattern I'm looking for. She's positioned to comb the records and profile the subjects. They, if they really do exist, won't be looking for Harley. And I'll keep it that way. Not a whispered word is said. Log entry BT-33. Crossed paths with Batgirl on patrol tonight. It's been a few weeks since she joined the team. Not that she'd put it that way. She's accepted some training, resources, nothing more. Even had some choice words to share about the Bat computer's tech. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. She was doing fine without me. Far better than I would have without the means I was born into. No wonder she insists on sticking to her own cases. Reminds me of someone else I know. Everything Jim has ever said about his daughter is true. I won't be the one to tell him. That's her right. He saw the corruption in the force and tried to shield her from it. So she found another way to keep Gotham safe. But she is not like Batman. Batman and Robin fight crime by cover of night. But Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson are somehow still... sheltered in a way she isn't. She sees things that we don't. Maybe we've lived in a mansion too long. Barbara's different. She's driven by something I... can't quite understand. Most people freeze up when faced with others' pain. But she sees the hurt at Gotham's core. And she has to get involved. To her, it was never a choice. Dick asked me to bring her further into the fold, to truly work together. But I'm not the one that needs convincing. Barbara insists she doesn't need me. And frankly, she's right. But Gotham does need Batgirl. We're fortunate to have her on our team. In whatever way she sees fit. Log entry BT-66. 
Earlier this week, I confronted Basil Carlo, otherwise known as Clayface. It didn't go as I had hoped. I keep asking myself, could I have been faster? Maybe. Led him away to safer ground. I'd been over the footage. No. He had several hostages at the reservoir. There was no time for backup or for elaborate plans. We fought, and he lost his footing. I couldn't stop him. When he hit the turbine, it confirmed what I had feared. One of us was going to die that night. But... <clears throat> Basil always had a sense for the dramatic. An epic confrontation in front of an audience would have fit his plans. As he put it, it was most important to be seen. Looking back at the footage of the fall, I remembered one of Basil's earliest roles. A bit part in an adaptation of a Sherlock Holmes story. I compared the footage to his early film, and the staging was nearly identical. Now I wonder if he didn't cast himself as Moriarty to my homes, with that reservoir as Reichenbach Falls. Or, more in keeping with his ego, he cast himself as the hero. I'm going to continue studying Basil's DNA. If what I suspect is true, it's possible that some part of Clayface is still out there, alive. But what could be left of him? Log entry, BT-42. Alfred, I can't do this. Not now. Interesting timeline here. So, year one, year 17, 28, I assume 79, but that's a bit high for Bruce Wayne to still be in his, like, 50s or so. So it's probably not years and it's not entries because he's between these two he said it's been a while since he recorded the first one. Oh, then again maybe maybe it's that there were 17 of them it didn't say that he hasn't recorded one just that it's been a while since the first one interesting so it they they might be entry set uh, entry numbers so anyway uh bt33 so 30 the 33rd entry uh the 66th entry so this one is closer to the harley one than it is to the others all right now 42 so this is before basil carlos reichenbach falls and but after batgirl log entry bt42 alfred i can't do this not now if you don't make time for this now Take all the time you need. I didn't know so much could go so wrong. There's nowhere else I can go. Dick stopped by Gotham again. Our meetings lately have been... strained. I pushed him away. And this time, I don't know if he'll ever come back. He worried about my obsessions, but I wasn't focused nearly enough. If I was, then Barbara... She got hurt. Paralyzed. Maybe permanently. Because she was trying to help me. I let her take on too much. I should have been there. I failed her. Barbara and Dick and... Jason. Jason barely got a chance. He could have been great for Gotham. The best kind of Robin. But he was reckless, rushing into danger like that. <sighs> no. I'm responsible for this. After being too strict with Dick, I tried to give Jason more freedom. I should have been paying more attention. He went off on his own to be a hero. Then that monster murdered him for it. He was killed because of me. I'd do anything to fix this. Things I said I'd never do. 
like speak with Talia again. I swore to myself I'd never consider using a Lazarus pit. The risks, even compared to death, were too great. But I had to know if resurrection was even possible. But when I tracked her down, I couldn't even ask for her help. One more thing I got wrong. And Talia just laughed. I broke almost every rule I have to bring Jason back. I have nothing to show for it. He's really gone. Sixty. <laughs> Batman failed. I failed everyone. I don't know how to make any of this right. But I'm going to find a way. So what's interesting is that they did officially confirm that Barbara did get shot and peril uh, did get paralyzed by the shot that they'd referenced before. Um, because when we were first going to go see Harley Quinn, uh, Barbara and the others mentioned her getting shot by the Joker, and this confirms that she was actually paralyzed by it. But so far, they haven't revealed why she's not paralyzed anymore. Log entry BT-70. Wait. Okay, so that one was between the previous two. Um, this one is between Clayface and hiring Harleen. Log entry BT-70. I don't often have dreams. But this morning, I woke up from one about Nightwing. Dick came back to Gotham. We sat right here in this room, together. He let me explain myself, apologize for pushing him away. I found all the words I should have said before he left. That's how I knew none of it was real. He asked me about something we used to talk about. Batman's legacy. You know, who wears the cowl when Bruce Wayne can't. For years, I thought I had the answer. Every time I looked at Dick Grayson, I saw the next Batman. But Dick never wanted it. I've been monitoring his activities in Bloodhaven. It's amazing what he's accomplished on his own. His way. With courage and kindness. I see it clearly now. I don't want Nightwing to become Batman. I need Batman to be more like Nightwing. Despite everything. I just wish he was home. So we could talk. Really talk. And I'd tell him how proud I really am. That Nightwing is the better version of what Batman was meant to be. That because of Dick Grayson, Bruce Wayne became a better man. I'd tell my son that I miss him. I'll tell him the next time he comes back. He doesn't need me bothering him. He doesn't need me at all. My heart. And... <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get a bit on a, on a soapbox real quick. So there's been a clip going around TikTok and probably other sources, uh, places on the internet, which is a clip from an upcoming DC animated original film that is based on the crisis of infinite earths. <clears throat> it's going to be a two or four part uh, series of movies based in what's currently known as the tomorrow verse. Um, and um, it's, uh, I'm excited for the films. However, this clip really bothered me. So basically what it is, is it's a clip of a gathering of heroes, i.e. probably the Justice League for the events of the crisis, but they're all from different Earths. And the it's got the Batman that's been showing up in the Tomorrowverse, who's voiced by Jensen Ackles, and he does an amazing job. Um, he also voiced 
Jason Todd in the animated film, uh, animated f film version of Under the Red Hood uh, years ago. Um, and he did an amazing job with that as well. Um, but um, anyway, so it's got Batman from what from the Earth that we've been mainly following in the Tomorrowverse. And then we've got uh, a Robin from another Earth. Now, the Batman who has been in the Tomorrowverse has never had a Robin. He has always been solo. And I don't remember how long into his crusade he's supposed to be and all that type of stuff, but he doesn't have a Robin. And the Robin that approaches him is very much an adult man. And when, when he approaches him, he says, actually, I kind of want to find the clip. Doesn't matter. Um, basically, you can find it on probably online if you if you want to go look for it. Um, but basically, he says he goes, Bruce. It's good to see you. And Batman, who is in full costume, looks at him and says, "Do I know you?" And Dick is like, uh, it basically gives him the rundown. And the guy is and Bat. This version of Batman looks at him and says. I took a child. Uh, I I brought a child into this. That seems terribly irresponsible, or something along those lines. And it's there was there's a TikToker I follow. Like it irked me. It bothered me because it has always pissed me off and bothered me that. Robin is always viewed by those who don't know better uh, at, to be this unnecessary, goofy, extraneous aspect to the Batman lore. Except he's been there since the beginning. He was in Batman number one back in the day, you know? And so it, he's a core... A, not just Dick Grayson, but Robin as a concept is a core con is a core aspect to the character of Batman. And it's to me, it's akin to stripping the doctor from Doctor Who of his TARDIS. It's something that is a key aspect to the character. Something that's been with him since the beginning. And, like, sure, there have been versions of the Doctor who were stranded without the TARDIS for various lengths of time. But in the end, he always gets the TARDIS back. And it's always, to my knowledge, the same TARDIS. And the one constant companion the Doctor has always had for the majority of his time has been the TARDIS. And it's the same way with Batman and Robin. <clears throat> and like I get it realistically speaking bringing a 10 year old into a vigilante crime fighting oper operation is not a good thing nor is it a smart thing and but the thing is in the world of com of the comics of DC comics and Marvel comics, but we're specifically talking DC here. Like, there's always been a level of absurd. I mean, these are the same, this is the same kind of comics as an alien who can fly and has super strength and laser vision and and uh, a literal Amazon from the mythical island of Themyscira. Um, the, the literal Greek gods are alive and exist in the in these comics you know and like i mean why why is it so absurd that batman would fight uh, would fight crime with a mini me next to him 
and not and it's not absurd that he fights an absolute fucking lunatic who wears clown makeup and or gets bleached skin and leans hard into the clown aesthetic depending on the versions we're talking about <clears throat> cuz like why is why is the one more absurd than the other and like i get that back in the day there were a lot of jokes about the nature of the relationship between batman and robin given the fact that they were not father and son and they always seemed a little too close you know type of a thing and so a lot of people made jokes about that but that's never been the case obviously and those were only jokes now now i will say comics have been very meta over the years like they mock themselves quite a bit not just dc marvel does this a lot i mean deadpool exists but like don't have batman do it you know if somebody's going to criticize the concept of robin it should be a figure like superman or wonder woman hell uh in the series young justice um batman get wonder woman criticizes batman for bringing a 10 year old into his crime a war against crime and in that series batman has the perfect reaction which is it was necessary and she scoffs at him and she's just like why so you could turn him into you and bruce's response is no so he wouldn't be like me at all and that's always been the goal like he doesn't just grab random 10 year olds and make and put them in capes and send them off to fight murderous clowns. He trains them, he teaches them, he shows them a better way. And largely speaking, these kids were gonna do what they were gonna do anyway without him. He just helped focus it. And it just it completely it completely undermines the whole concept of batman to have batman mock himself even be it from another earth for doing the thing you know and it's just it really bothers me that this has been such a thing that exists. It, the fact that this exists at all bothers me. And because it's not just about Dick. It's not just about Robin. It's about Bruce, too. Because like he says here, this is exactly the case. His sidekicks make him better. Dick Grayson saves Bruce Wayne from going down the darkest paths and be being alone. It's... As someone who's been down a dark path, being alone in that moment is the worst thing that could happen. Being alone, you can justify your worst impulses. Being alone... You don't feel like you're uh, like you're answerable to anybody but yourself. Being alone, you are weaker than you are when you're not. When you have someone who cares about you and who you care about. it makes you better and alfred can't be that role because in the end yes he's a father figure but in the end he is just an employee 
he Bruce Wayne needs someone who is basically his family. Like more his family than an employee could be. Like I love Alfred. Don't get me wrong, I adore Alfred. Alfred is amazing. But in the end, sometimes you need a child to remind you what of what you are and what you can be. It's like, imagine this, right? 10 year old Dick Grayson talking about how awesome Batman is talking about how much hope Batman gives people and how cool it is and all of that. Bruce would see himself very quickly through the eyes of Dick Grayson. <clears throat> and he would realize very quickly that that's an image that he deserves to, that he needs to try to live up to, you know, cause that's how that works. You remove Robin or any of the sidekicks. The, if you remove the bat family from Batman, you remove his heart. And that's the case with any of the superheroes. Again, specifically DC. Um, like Superman, you remove Lois. Le with Superman, if you remove his human connections, then what's to stop him from giving into his, his I'm it's starting to convince himself that he's better than humans like sure his uh the kents raised him better than that but once you're an adult there always comes this uh, this bit of are they worth like from superman's perspective are is humanity worth it and if he's not immersed within humanity on a daily basis then he doesn't see the good. He would only see what's on the news. And that's never good. The same is true with Wonder Woman. And all of the Justice League. If you remove their sidekicks, if you remove their connections, they are allies, they're friends or you change them to be a different form because you think that it's more realistic or you think that it, uh, or you like a darker, grittier story, then you're gutting the thing you're trying to adapt. I'll, I'll, I could, I could talk for hours about this. I'm, I'm just going to, for the, for the sake of everybody, I'm just going to call it there and move on. <sighs> also, I love the title of this. Father and Gray Son. Clever. Log entry BT-55. I stopped by Victor Freeze's new cell at Blackgate earlier tonight. Victor is looking at two years for his latest escapade. But his cell is adapted to his condition. So in theory, he can stay there for any sentence, regardless of length. I made a promise to Victor long ago that I'd try to help his wife, Nora. Recently, advancements in medical technology made that possible. As much as I was glad to help Nora herself, I had also hoped that helping her would encourage Victor to change his ways. But after her successful decryonization and treatment at Gotham General, Nora wanted no part of their previous relationship. Damn. She recognized what I'd been reluctant to accept. Mr. Freeze has embraced his identity as a villain and is loath mm -hmm. to give it up. At her request, I safely relocated Nora. Her instincts were right. His response was violence. I subdued him and brought him to the GCPD. Victor now insists that Nora rejected him due to his condition rather than his actions. He 
asked for my help in finding a cure. And I agreed. I've looked at my work for Nora. I think I can do it. That will let him live more comfortably. But I told him it won't bring Nora back. Until Victor accepts that his problems are because of his violent behavior, he'll keep returning to the same criminal patterns. I only hope I can make him understand that. So this was 70, which was nine before this one, whereas this one we just listened to was 55, which puts it before Clayface, after his little spiral about Jason and Barbara getting shot. And, but, okay. So 55, yeah. Log entry BT57. It's been two months since I confronted Red Hood. Wanted criminal, confirmed killer. Jason. Mm -hmm. At first, I didn't want to believe it. But after that shock came hope. He's still driven by a sense of justice. There's still a part of him I can recognize as Robin. He's talking to me, but he's so angry. Not so much at his murderer, but at me. I deserve his anger. He was just a child when I put him in harm's way. I pushed him too hard, too fast. He's made it clear that he'll never let go of his desire for vengeance. But he's come to understand that violence has its limits. I can only be grateful Jason's meeting me halfway. He's accepted counseling. We're finding Good. a way to move forward. He's even suggested we work on a new kind of pistol for him, together. Something Aww. that's more bat-friendly. Bat-friendly. I have some reservations about that. But he insists it's possible, and his prototypes are promising. He's making an incredible effort to come back from that cliff. To be a better man. Aww. So far, I've been unable to find out what happened between Jason's murder and his appearance on Gotham streets as the Red Hood. His amnesia seems total, but not necessarily irreversible. Maybe with time, he'll remember. Alfred and I ran every test we could think of. The last one confirmed my suspicions. We found evidence he'd been exposed to a Lazarus pit. Was Jason revived by Raish? Talia, another faction or cult. Raish has healed his injuries, no matter how severe in Lazarus pits. Ongoing exposure has rendered him practically immortal, though at the cost of his humanity. Raish's original goal when he founded the League was to destroy a corrupted society, to then rebuild it to a pure form. Now, he seems to have lost sight of any reconstruction. He views all human beings as irredeemably flawed, even Talia. For all his anger, Jason is nothing like that. My working theory is that a single short exposure to a Lazarus pit won't cause a permanent shift in personality. But I need to learn more. For Jason's sake. I won't lose him again. In the course of that, it reminded me, like, I'm just going to jump back on my soapbox just a little bit, just real quick. Um, what's even more harmful, not just to the Batman character, but to on a larger scale than that, is portraying Bruce's relationship with his kids as abusive. And I, for this, I'm very specifically looking at the live action Titans series that HBO put out. That oh, like there were like, I'm not saying that Batman and Robin always got along and that they never had their issues. And I'm not saying that Bruce couldn't be a bit cold or distant. But they they portrayed and even outright declared him as an abusive figure. And that is 
not the case and it's and i feel it's very harmful to claim it is but anyway back back to this all right so that was 57 so that was not long after the victor freeze thing but it was before the dream about dick about nightwing i should say because dreaming about dicks has other con connotations um and then log entry bt49 six months since tim drake showed up this kid not only figured out batman hold up <laughs> so just for timeline <laughs> this kid that this kid <laughs> um so bt49 that puts it after the spiral about barbara and jason before jason's return before victor freezes thing Definitely before the dream. After the introduction of Batgirl. So, yeah, okay. Log entry BT49. This kid! <laughs> Six months since Tim Drake showed up. This kid not only figured <laughs> out Batman's identity, but connected every dot. Nightwing, Alfred, Jason Todd, and at just 13... Okay, they aged him up. Tim He's supposed is to be about ten as well. Than I was at that age. In a raw sense, certified maybe genius. Even now, a natural detective. Again, certified when Tim genius. figured out who we all were. My first IQ, thought was, etc. how did he do it? And then, how could he use this against us? Even more paranoid than usual. I've been in a dark place since Jason died. <laughs> Robin's mask now feels like a curse I inflicted on Jason and Dick. Tim wants the mask anyway. He says Batman needs Robin. Agreed. Alfred and Dick just encourage this. They insist Tim just wants to help. There was a time I thought that I was helping Dick. Certainly thought I was helping Jason. If it were only that simple... Tim thinks everything has an answer. He has this absolute enthusiasm I can't possibly match. I worry I'll just grind that enthusiasm to dust, like I did with the others, whether I want to or not. It's just what I am. Though Tim would be better off without the mask, if he has to wear it, pushing him away would be dangerous. For some reason, I can't understand. He trusts me. I'm certain I don't know what's best for the kid. But with all his potential and that raw genius, maybe, just maybe, we can make this work. Log entry BT81. Okay, so this is 81, which makes this the most recent out of all of them, I believe. Yes. Log entry BT81. I just finished packing Alfred's luggage into the taxi. I can't believe after months of nagging, he finally agreed to take a vacation. He always has an excuse. If it's not a case stopping him, he's too busy redecorating the manor or helping Tim on a project. But I could see it in his eyes when the fog rolled in. Or the way he sighed as he made a cup of tea. He missed England. He says, I'm so focused on stopping the next criminal that I don't appreciate what I've already accomplished. But he's guilty of that, too. He's the one who works from the shadows, making sure I survive every night, every patrol. If anyone deserves a vacation, it's Alfred. I looked it up. The last time he took time off was after we captured Firefly, at least four years ago. I don't think he would have left if Tim hadn't promised to look after me while he's gone. Even Jason stepped in and said he would cook for me so I don't, and I quote, die from salmonella. <laughs> to show his gratitude, Alfred assured us he will give Ace the fanciest treats money can buy. Oh. I swear that dog has us wrapped around his paw. Yes. Anyway, Alfred shouldn't worry so much. I'm clearly in good hands. And I'll sleep better at night knowing he'll be out of reach of the people I'm currently investigating. 
Yeah, is that a, that's a bit of a sick joke if you think about it. Because this was the most recent one, and we know Alfred wasn't at the manor when uh, Raish attacked. And, oh man, like, oh, can you, like, Alfred takes a vacation, and not only does Bruce Wayne die, uh, does Bruce Wayne and Batman die, but the fucking manor explodes. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah. That's some really great lore that I really that I that I really enjoyed. But anyway, so we have some missions. I know it's like an hour in already. But we have some missions that I didn't do, of course, because they're story missions. We've got visiting Detective Montoya, we've got visiting Lucius Fox, and we've got this penguin thing here. Um, so since I'm down hither, I'm thinking that I go over Yon and work my way up. So it would be Montoya, then Fox, and then Penguin. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Sorry I made you stand there for so long, uh, Nightwing. Let's go. God damn it. Keep my get mouse in the game. Why are you so far away? Hey, look, I'm here.
Nightwing. God damn it, I hate it when you do that, she says, because just appeared behind her. I your boss. I've been traveling abroad, finding myself, seeing the sights, in Bloodhaven mostly. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. I doubt I'll have any more sway with the new commissioner than you do. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes. And dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. So the good ones are left to fight or give in to the pressure. The force sounds worse than ever. Well, look, I hate to ask, but... Can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Of course. Anyone crazy enough to fight crime in this city is worth fighting for. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. It's nice to see you too, Montoya. Contacts offer tasks to help clean up and protect Gotham City. Help various contacts during patrols to earn distinct rewards. All right. Because of you, another honest cop got to come home after their shift. Hey. Okay. So I have to interrogate four criminals and stop crimes. Okay, can do. Hey, you saved someone's life out there. Yeah, I know. Here's the Gordon Memorial. Look at him. In memory of James Gordon. All right, next stop, Lucius. Oh, we have an identity compromised thing. Okay. Where is this? Where am this? Oh, it's... Oh, it takes me back there. Okay, no, that's fine. That can wait. Um... Oh, it just says return to the Belfry. Fair enough. Helps if I actually read what it says, huh? Alright, map. Hey guys. Alright. We're following the yellow arrows. We're following the yellow arrows.
join the view, Lucius? In the rain. <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Batman was always big on keeping a step ahead of everyone. I don't know how he kept up with Gotham, though. I always feel five steps behind this city. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I guess. Don't thank me yet. and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tech. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... Nice! It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. Our own personal ride share. This is great, Lucius. Now you can thank me. Thanks. Luke Fox. AKA Batwing later. Come Not necessarily on. in this. Obsolete blueprints have been re removed from my thing. Fascinating. <clears throat> All right. So hold on. What was the thing? One of the things I was trying to. Not that one. This one. Metal and privateer. Okay. Do I have anything like that? No. Crafting suit. Momentum. Here one. War. Tunnel. Titan. Yeah, one. Titan. Titan. Yeah, new God. Titan. Titan. Night Ops. Lucius Fox left Wayne Tech over a decade ago to found his own company, Fox Tecca. It has grown to become one of Gotham City's most renowned and prolific corporations. His objective was to make a tech company that would be both environmentally friendly and state of the art, and he has succeeded. His son, Luke, also worked at the company for a time as an engineer, though he and Lucius had a disagreement and Luke has since left to pursue other ventures. Much like Wayne Tech, Fox Tecca specializes in research and development, cybersecurity, and new technologies. Lucius has a private lab where he can conduct his own personal research, which sometimes happens to be vigilante related. Notes, ask Lucius about his drone project could be useful. Right, Lucius, ready with the drone. How does it work? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for Makes sense, I guess. Lately, the GCPD is not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne, we'll no longer be airborne. So how do we deal with the surveillance drones? A creative <clears throat> programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. I assume that's where I come in. Get up close and personal for some scans? The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. Another... And after another, scan, uh... Our drone will be clear for takeoff. Got it. Got it. I'll another collectible quest, one, essentially. So you can get to work. All right. Oh, it's for fast travel. 
Hey, fair enough. Hey, Yvonne, thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hold this, will ya? Uh, no, I will not. Who do you think I am, your personal butler? Goes to sleep. Okay, fine. Fine. If you actually promise to fucking go to sleep. <laughs> Everybody, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome. I hope you all have had a great time uh, watching Yvonne B. Welcome to my chaos mess. Yeah, no, I, I understand. You, you, you've done been doing a lot. Did you get the uh, the thing finished or make any progress on it or anything like that? Progress made, not finished. Well, progress is progress is progress is progress. All right, go, go, uh, go sleep. You've earned it. You have your pilot's license. Anytime you want to fly to a new area, just scan all the drones and I'll take care of the rest. Thanks, Lucius. This gives us one hell of an advantage out here. That's fucking cool. Look at that. Live in the tree. Oh, I like that. That's cool. All right. Thank you for the lurk. Welcome from the welcome from the raid. Have a good rest of your evening. Need to open that up. So what we'll do is, since our next goal is up here, uh, we'll work through the sectors quickly, unlocking each of the things that we come across.
Oh. I'm going the wrong way. And also, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry, I didn't real, I didn't notice that. Thank you for the follow and thank you for the lurk. Now, where's the other one? It says one of two. Very easy. Angel? Oh, so I have to actually find it. Uh, okay. Do -do -do -do. Da -da -da -da. All right. Um, now it's not showing up on my map. Cause that's the thing we were just doing. Financial district is the one I just did. Uh, one of the ones I just did. All right, so there's two in this region. Um, huh. There's aerial surveillance here. There it is. Scan the drones and I'll reprogram them so you can fly to this location. Come on, go. Nightwing. There we go. Alright, where'd that sucker go? There it is. Oh, there's another. No, that's another recharge. It's over there. Of course it is. I need you to hold that scan a little longer. Try again. Nice scan. I've got the data. Okay, that's one. There's the other. already scanned that one so that is the one that I just scanned Are you the one I just scanned, or are you a different one? 
for landing. You look like a different one, the same one, okay. All right, so this thing has a patrol route. Uh, and I have to find the patrol route of the other one. That's what my logic says. Who knows if that's actually an accurate thing? There's the drone we just scanned. Oh, there it is. Each sector has several drones. You'll have to find each one and scan it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on it, Lucius. Just... It just took me a second. Can't signal it. Okay, come on. There we go. I reprogrammed the drone so you can fly back here anytime. Alright, so that's that one. That's those three. Next. There's one drone. And there's two. What have we here? More surveillance drones. You scan them. I'll make this place safe to fly. Yes, that's a good scan. I need complete data. Yeah, I'm working Take on it. Time into a full scan. Okay. You got them all. Good. I've reprogrammed them to let you. I've reprogrammed them to let you fly in the area. All right.
There's one. And two. Okay, cool. There's aerial surveillance here. Scan the drones and I'll reprogram them so you can fly to this location. Where'd the other one go? Nice scan. I've got the data. Oh, there's three this time. Shocker. Where'd it go? Hello. I saw you. <coughs> Where did you go? Ah. Yes, yes, I know I can't scan at this distance. Um. Fuck me. Scan, I got yeah. Nice. I think I just saw a glimpse. A very quick glimpse. Yep, there it is. You've almost got it. Try again. But this time that's all of them. Nice work. This area is cleared for landing. some surveillance drones. Scan them and then you'll be able to fly here. And three, okay. Where are you going? Come on. Ah, down there. I was lucky. I need you to hold that scan a little longer. Try again. You got them all. Good. I reprogrammed them to let you fly in the area. All right. So that's those. We'll hit you.
Aerial surveillance here. Scan the drones and I'll reprogram them so you can fly to this location. Okay. Oop. Almost missed my spot. All right. I need complete data. Take your time and do a full scan. There's the other. You got the scan, I got the data. Nice. One more, and then we'll hit Penguin. Oh. That's a wall. Sorry, walk it off. What have we here? More surveillance drones. Three, okay. Scan them. I'll make this place safe to fly. There's one. Two. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Got it. Try again, but this time hold the scan for long. Yes, that's a good scan. Here we go. You got them all. Good. I reprogrammed <clears throat> them to let you fly in the area. All right. That's that. Okay. Let's go crash a party. Now that we've done the busy work, let's go have some fun and crash a party. and quiet. Be careful with those ice boxes. You don't want the new clients to get mad. Clients sure exist. There you are.
Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. And then there's that. But I have one more fool. I want to. Okay, this works. Cargo that needs to be put on ice if it's going to help anyone. I've taken the liberty of contacting Dr. Tompkins, sending you her coordinates. an appointment i'm kidding come here dr tompkins i have an organ donation for you nothing surprises me anymore with these gangs thanks for the delivery i've got a medical team lined up who can use it i'll be sure to add medical courier to my resume belfry i think that might be enough <laughs> penguin should be a lot more helpful after this just watch yourself Penguin's not a generous guy. He'll want something in return. All right. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Um, okay. So let's fast travel to here and while that's doing that i will be right back we're taking a quick break while i run to the restroom don't go anywhere Thank you for your patience. Let's go speak to the penguin.
Thanks to Penguin, I'm scared of umbrellas. <laughs> well, you know what they say, boomerangs always come back. Let's hope the captain doesn't. Time's up for clocking. U.S. tax code. Doubt Penguin's well acquainted with that. A cobble pot coin? Should have just put a penguin on it. <laughs> yeah. Defeat the guards. Don't take damage. Got it. Well, you first. Go to sleep. Okay. Our boy's down. Something's going on. Nope. Nothing's going on. You two just uh, decided to take a nap. <clears throat> Give me just a second. I have to put a cough drop in my mouth so that I'm not coughing into the microphone. <laughs> All right. All right, there's one over there. And two down there. And five more to get. Okay. And there's civvies in the way, okay. Nope. Okay. Another vigilante. Just what we needed. Shh. Take a sleep behind the bar. It's fine. Those two are busy. Lady, come here. Oh, so much for not taking damage. Okay. Sorry, civvies. Hope you all are okay. Questions. 
And I can think of a few reasons not to answer them. Hmm. He's scared of somebody. I'm pretty sure I know who, but, you know. Let's see here, bugs, bugs, bugs. Oh, there we go. I never liked that thing. It clashes with the rest of the decor. I'm not even sure where it's from. Ah, there's one there. I had that touched up recently. Sadly, my usual guy wasn't available. Usual guy wasn't available, that's why there's a bug there. All right, let's see what we got here. Aha, on the lamp, of course. Illumination is important, especially at my age. My eyes aren't what they used to be. So you really are ready to play in the big leagues. I should drink to that. Bring over that bottle of whiskey. Gotham's elite keep getting a pass on Blackgate, but not you. So what? You forget the secret handshake? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by... Oh, no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. Bruce the made a reference to that. Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're good with sending me there. Typical. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Belfry, you catch that? You're not like Oswald to be so helpful. Think he's got an angle? Probably. But that doesn't mean he's lying. He seems to really believe in the court of owls. Okay, I'll pull up as much as I can on the court. Sounds like a plan. And we know that Bruce was looking into them because not a whispered word was said is, uh was something he said in one of his audio logs. Bruce Wayne, Scott, La Scott Tang, Vicky Vale, and Selena Kyle.
Belfry. Any chance you can check up on Alfred? He went out a while ago and I haven't heard from him. Oh no! That's happening a lot lately. Maybe he's on a date. Hmm. He said he was meeting Jacob Kane again. He insisted on walking. It's dangerous mm. at night. He shouldn't take chances like that. You know Alfred. Do me a favor and check up on him, will you? Way ahead. One hundo. Um. Do we have any other missions to work on? Powers Club. Check on Alfred in his evening meeting. Turn to Belfry. Dress further. Return to Belfry. Visit the Batman Memorial at the Belfry. Visit Lucius Fox. We can fast travel. Actually, nah, nah. I feel like a drive. I love this bike. I love how good it feels to drive it in this game. They did a really good job with it. What on earth are you up to? So Alfred tells me you've been working hard on your bat gadgets. Yo, not so much bat <clears throat> gadgets as Nightwing implements. Wingdings. I'm still working on the name. If you will. But you know you're Wingdings. going to run into supply issues eventually, right? Robin can only find us so much, and they don't exactly carry some of our stuff at the hardware store. Tell you what, you keep busy with your superhero business. And I'll keep you supplied with components. You good with that? It is gold, Lucius. Ranged weapon and the suit. I should be able to do that. Right here and right now, crafting. Ranged weapon. That was one. Two. Yes, and then suits. One. Two. Select reward. Challenge complete. Craft melee weapon and mod ship. Okay.
Cancel. 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 Wait a second. Uh, mods, right? That's what I was doing. Um, let's do something simple down here. You and you. Oh, I can use four. Okay. We'll do that. Let's see what happens. Okay. If I do these, these, okay, interesting. Helps if I'm looking at the right thing. Um, Melee and re wait, arranged. Okay, I'll do. I'll do this off stream. That sounds very grindy. Uh, same with this. All right, let's go check on Alfred then. Story mode time. Okay, to be clear. Okay, he's not that far from this, so let's fast travel. goes into like a free fall dive before yeeting himself out of it. <clears throat> Found you, old boy. Oh, buddy. Sergeant Pennyworth. Jacob Kane. The brother of Sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Um it never seems to stop. Martha Wayne. Scene. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? <laughs> you said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. Kids are on it. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful. As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. <laughs> Every day I find you geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun.
You know what? Never mind. Bear. Smart man. Smart man. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Because Nightwing was up Come in the inside. background going, I see we'll you. Catch up. <laughs> Don't have to twist I'm my watching. Phone. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. He knows we're there, and I love him for it. Oh, Alfred. Belfry, got anything court related? The Court of Owls, a secret society as old as Gotham itself, run the city behind closed doors, according to the old poem, anyway. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all-powerful court really is out there, they might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the Powers Club. Oh, wow, the Powers Club is not that far away from uh, Belfry, huh? Um, I really love how he just yeets himself sideways off of buildings. Gotta love when that happens. You know, Belfry, I usually try to avoid the Powers Club. Bruce Wayne's ward declining his annual invitation. Again, seems rather rude. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Gotham's socialites just makes me want to have a very long shower. Valid. Valid. In Gotham, valid. I'm in. Good. We'll be here. Let us know what you find. Virginia Creeper plant. Gotham by Gaslight. That's a reference to the comic series. Um, Gotham by Gaslight, where everything is like industrial revolutionary era type steampunky shit. And it's it's interesting, it's fun. A species of flowering vine from the family, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, commonly mistaken for poison ivy. The Virginia creeper is found in swamps and bottomlands across southeastern Canada and the eastern United States, including Gotham's own slaughter swamp, uh, where creeping vines are the least of visitors' worries. Whatever goes on in the swamp, it has clearly impacted the flora. Yeah, Slaughter Swamp is a mess. The 1800s were a fascinating and tumultuous time in Gotham City. This popular history textbook explores multiple notable events throughout the century, including the tenement typhoid epidemic, the unsolved mystery of the Gotham grave robbers, and the story of the runaway, one of the era's most interesting and elusive outlaws. 
The Runaway, not to be confused with The Runaways, which is a Marvel uh, team rather than a DC concept. They have a few guards. They told you to not to worry about, much, though. Too. Bastard. Wonder what that means. <laughs> in peace. Interesting that the that the scan would pinpoint this particular lamp. Can't go that way. Excuse me. All right, so that's where I came from. <clears throat> where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Top Nigel. For real though, I'm scanning. But nothing is interacting. Okay. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah, this particular lamp is not getting electricity, but... Question is I'm trying to remember how to do this. No. I think it has something to do with the lamp, but for whatever reason, it's not letting me interact with it yet. I need to remember to check the ceiling sometimes. Oh. Aha! I'm an idiot. AR shows a trail of blood. I, what else I thought it was just be. design. There's something under the floor. The hatch is connected to some kind of network. There's got to be a way to open it. 
I'm gonna eat the glowing yellow things or the things I should check out. Oh wait. I thought they were just fucking uh <clears throat> uh design. La da la da la Are you are you guards? Yes, you're guards. On the nose, as it were. Uh huh. Okay, so there's quite a few guards. They said we'd be working at a club. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. It's a gentleman's club. Whatever that means. Just saying, I was hoping for something a little more clubby and a little less creepy. Shut up. It's easy money. We barely have to see the snobs anyway. Yeah, what the hell's that about? Who cares? The less we know, the better. Looks like things are finally starting to ramp up around here. Yeah. Why is security so tight here? Who knows? Big wigs with big money want to feel important. What's up here? What's the tape recorder? Reel to reel was all the rage in the states after American audio engineers used them to spy on German communications activities during World War II. These particular tapes describe a series of deaths reported in Gotham City in the late 1930s and early 1940s that were dramatized in a local author's pulp detective novels. A few years later. Letter to Thomas Wayne. Dear Dr. Thomas Wayne, we are an elite group of gentlemen and even some women dedicated to the betterment of our city. Situated in the in the story's pow storied Powers Mansion in historic Gotham, our group is a meeting place for Gotham's brightest minds to share ideas and forge the future of our great city. As a man of upstanding philosophy and commendable action, you are formally invited to join our prestigious association. Contact us at your leisure. We look forward to welcoming you among our ranks. Sincerely, Mr. Tucker, Tucker Cobblepot and Associates, Chairman of the Powers Club. All right, let's open this chest here. This gives me the creeps. Tell me about it. I hear people go in and never come out. Great, that's the last thing I needed to hear. I'll be glad when my shift's over. Statue of Athena. Careful. Okay. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Guess I gotta read between the lines. No, I'm not gonna flip that yet.
I don't want to risk alerting them because the door suddenly opens or a door suddenly opens or anything like that, you know? This whole level design makes me feel like Lacrimosa should be playing. Mm, Lacrimosa! All right. <clears throat> Oh, we never got that guy up on the stairs. Okay. Well. Back then. This guy's just chilling on his phone. Thank you, thank you, my guy. Okay. So, in theory. If I. Go over here. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. No. Wait. Oh, fuck, he's gonna see me. Shh. Anybody alert? No, remain undetected. Okay. All right, so far so good. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna put this pool to sleep in front of the fire. Keep them nice and warm while they take a nap. And then uh, this person fell asleep reading over here. Sleep reading too. Simple as that. Jeez. Okay. All right. So I can open this door. Can we open this door? Maybe from the other side. Okay. Interesting. Off the, there you go. All right. All right. What's this? Piano. Statue of Athena, a Roman replica of the original Greek sculpture of the goddess Athena. Late 4th or fifth, early 5th century BCE, the go patron goddess of the city-state of Athens. Athena was associated with wisdom, strategy, and warfare. Though the sculpture traditionally depicts Athena brandishing a spear, uh, this altered figure depicts the goddess holding an owl, an image of wisdom and one of Athena's most recognizable symbols. I'm just gonna open all of the doors. All of the doors. They will be open. All of the doors. All of them. Why? Because I say so. Oh, huh. How does one get up here? And why does it exist? It's just a balcony. Why? Why does... Okay, I'm gonna stop. 
All right, so we push the button. Let's go flip the switch in the book and cause the world to go all topsy-turvy. Here we go. Follow the activated wires. ba doo bop doo ba doo bop Where? Where? Oh, to the lamp. Your lamp. Ever. Now. Pull the lamp. Pull the lever, crunk. It was indeed the correct lever. staircase that can't be good when has it ever been except for when it's batman's walk not run be gentle be careful be silent be a shadow a shadow Woo! i don't know how that happened Belfry, I found some hidden stairs. I'm going down. Belfry. Nothing. That's not great. Enable logging mode. Send as soon as you can. Ooh, I like that. That makes sense. That's clever. It's going to record everything and then immediately send it as soon as he has connection again. Oh, man. That's clever for in case something bad happens. Okay. We've got a spotlight. What looks like a pail, maybe? Oh, I will guarantee you it's a shadow puzzle. It's a shadow puzzle. Yep, okay. That's strange. The blood leads directly to the wall. Yeah, I've no played. Out. But there's always a way out. I have played too much Resident Evil for me not to know what this is on site. That did something. All right. Oh, I think the first, I think the one wing is wrong. I 
I think this is wrong. We'll see. No, it's not going to look right, is it? What if I try it the other way around? And then this thing. There we go. Shit, what's he doing here? Don't let him get the upper hand. I have the upper hand. Wonder how deep this goes. Probably under the entirety of Gotham. <clears throat> your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I, I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to get you to safety. Carry on, you five, scratching at the walls. They're all soft. <laughs> The only way forward is through. No one gets through. The ceremony can't be delayed. The clerk can't even press the
Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. blood did this guy lose a lot probably must be the owner of all that blood maybe he's gonna be naked hopefully not nope looks clothed of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. Okay. The last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. <laughs> Am I about to fight the Talon? No. Maybe. No. No, worse. I have to escape the Resident Evil dungeon. Not good. Ow. I may have just run face first into a, a whole thing of flamethrowers. It's fine. It's fine. Climb, Nightwing. Oh boy. Easy. No, no, they didn't. Wait. Wait. Damn it. Ah, that was poorly timed. <clears throat> okay. Oh god!
You know, I can think of some boys in blue that might that this could be better for. Though it would probably be green blades at that point. Oh! Sorry, Nightwing, I wasn't watching what I was doing. Sorry again, Nightwing. Thank God they don't actually have the gore of a Resident Evil game. Holy hell. Uh oh. How about you not? Yeah. I think we're about to see the town. Keep waiting for the talent to show up and kick my ass. So many victims. This is a mass grave. This jacket looks straight out of a period piece. Must be a couple centuries old. Sleeves like this were in style a hundred years ago. How long has the court been killing people? Um, forever. This could be a way out. happened it's kind of a bottle of wine situation dick's just like i need to get drunk oh wow they really are not that far away from the belfry That's a car. And that's another car. Night five. Nine crimes stopped. Two low difficulty. One low difficulty. Six normal difficulty. Now, again, this is the night that spanned, like from last stream to tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, bonus objectives completed, 11 cops rescued, 13 citizens rescued, okay. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they have play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin kid. Or the second. 
A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. True. In fact, usually they tend to cross paths more head. than you'd think. <laughs> and one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. They all hand him their shit! <laughs> it's okay, he had a really long night, so he deserves some desk work. All right, we are going to be wrapping it up here shortly. Let's listen to Noor Rashid first. GCN tip lines and social media are lighting up in recent days with numerous reports of masked heroes disrupting criminal activity across the city. Curiously, none of these incidents seem to involve Batman, who has not been seen in Gotham for quite some time. GCPD warns that vigilantism is a criminal offense. They say they will not hesitate to charge any, quote, unsanctioned crime fighters if they are caught. You're watching GCN. I'm Noor Rashid, Gotham's trusted voice in news. Okay. Wait. I was surprised Mr. Cobblepot agreed to help. Me too. I've rarely seen him this scared. But after the Powers Club and that death pit, I get it. It's a grim way of discovering the stories about the court were real all along. But now that we know about them, they won't be able to hide anymore. Oh, and Dick just changed his clothes. Flying trapeze. Nightwing can now use his, fi his flying trapeze. Hold space while airborne to use flying trapeze to glide over the Gotham City. That's cool. Alright. Uh, this button. Nope. It's this button. Alright. Case files. Um... Okay, so I have to talk to Alfred about Harley Quinn. Uh, all right, so. Oh, the privateer. Question, hold on. Basic training, crafting. Craft a suit with the privateer, not equip one. Okay. 
Um, and equip. Mods. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Here? Yep. Okay, we're on those. Range, we're on those. Crafting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Load out. Okay. So if I go into the mods menu and then I do this button, that one plus that one. Two, can I do two? Or do I have to, oh no, I have to do four in order to hold two, okay. Um, Do that one or that one? Oh. Help, helps if I'm in the right thing, doesn't it? Uh, mods, that button. Okay. <clears throat> You well, do it first. Um, you, 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 and you. Okay.
Okay, abilities. All right, we have two ability points. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry, my eye is really itching right now. Okay. Um, Ooh. Ooh, several good options here. Um, this is nest ability cooldown. Ah, nest. Creates a nest around himself and any allies, granting a large defense bonus and healing over time. The nest also inflicts damage over time to any enemies that step inside it. Nice. Okay. So that's what it does. Bigger area, increases the buffs, and reduces its cooldown. Okay. I think we're gonna go with this one, oh, this one, and this one. Okay. Keep doing that. This one also. All right. An email to all of the. Okay. Oswald, don't know if you kids have access to this, but I have no clue how else to contact you. Not sure if he told you this, but the big guy and I had a deal, one that benefited us both. If you're interested in keeping it going, come see me at the lounge. Meet me on the roof. I don't want to risk you breaking my door again. From Jada Tompkins, daughter of Leslie Tompkins. Hey, Batman, this is Jada. My mom gave me this address in case I needed to contact you. There's been a big spike in organ theft lately, and the GCPD aren't doing anything about it. I know they're busy, but I don't know who else to turn to. If you recover any stolen organs, get them to my mobile clinic, and, make sh and I'll make sure they're sent to the right people okay uh, from barbara unsurprisingly langstrom wasn't working alone he had an assistant helping him with his let's say less savory work i suspect he knew about the court too i wonder if he was a plant from the two barbara from dick bad this is really bad i was tracking a member of the court hoping i could pick up some intel but i blinked and they disappeared it was a real houdini act <laughs> Houdini acts. Oh God! I love that he marked it in an email as urgent. Regarding an interview to Dick from Barbara, can I be the first to say that you take far too much pleasure in messing around with people who underestimate you? I read the interview that you did with Gotham's Elite. You had the reporter convinced you're a golden retriever in a in a very tailored clothing. <laughs> From Gotham's Elite, who is Dick Grayson? Bruce Wayne's scion tells all. The apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. 
it seems. Dick Grayson, much like the recently departed Bruce Wayne, is an irre irrespon- ir Oh my god, is an irrepressible flirt. The tabloids are flush with mentions of his exploits and the gorgeous company that he keeps. I asked Dick if he had a specific type and he leaned close then. He leaned close then, his voice lowered into an intimate purr, his gaze for me and no one else. People are gorgeous. All of them. Why restrict myself to an archetype when this world is beauty? Gorgeous, gorgeous people everywhere, including the ranks of Gotham's elite. While some, while some might disdain his puppy-like enthusiasm, I have a suspicion that Dick Grayson might day, one day might live up to societal expectations. He only needs to learn how to calm down. <laughs> Personally, I think with age, he'll develop Bruce Wayne's ability to differentiate the personal and the professional. Why? Well, we've all heard the rumors. Continue. From Dick to Babs. Aren't I a golden retriever in very tailored clothing, though? Also, did you notice how I got him to believe I might be Bruce Wayne's illegitimate son? Yes. Yes, I did. Now, tell me why you led him down that rabbit hole. Because it's funny! And the more rumors that there are, the less chances anyone will figure out the truth of who I really am. The world would freak out if, you, if it ever learned you are such an evil mastermind. Best not tell them, then. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Mr. Wayne never cared much for the board, either. He called it a necessary evil. I don't know why I'm giving Lucius a British accent. Um, <clears throat> a necessary evil, oops. Uh, which I always chuckled at. The idea that Mr. Wayne would participate in evil of any kind, necessary or otherwise, is about as close to a joke as I'd ever heard him utter. I have no doubt you'll get used to dealing with the board in time. You've always been good with people and you've you and you have a good head on your shoulders. I know the members quite well and could give you some insight into how they like to do things. If you're ever interested in getting a step ahead, best Lucius. I've been doing some research from Jason. I've been doing some research on that Court of Owls book I told you all about. The author was buried at the Gotham Cemetery near St. Faustina Church. So I looked at some pictures of the area and I spotted weird Court of Owls symbols near the building. We should check them out, check it out, and if we can find the book, it'd give us some valuable intel on the court. From Rene Montoya. Hey, we keep getting reports of some weird guy mugging people all over town. The victims say he doesn't have a face, probably a mask or something. So it's hard to get a description. We haven't found him yet, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Maybe you'll have better luck catching him. Interesting. From an anonymous source, The Watch. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of Batman's. He asked me to contact you through this address if I hadn't seen him for a while. <clears throat> I have information that could be of use to you. Come see me in North Gotham, I've included the map coordinates. Back to these. Okay. Oops, wrong thing. Alright, now. child he became convinced they were behind his parents murder. Oh no. Poor Bruce. Indeed. We never spoke of the court at home after that. Now I wonder if he felt he could not tell me such things. There was nothing Bruce couldn't tell you, Alfred. Only things he
Okay. Video Bruce wanted planted. He knew how to make a cover story. <laughs> the footage is supposedly from a GCPD sting operation, exactly when Batman was last fighting Two Face. You know, I'd almost forgotten he used to do stuff like this. <laughs> the best part is, he did it so often, no one's gonna realize this is from a different night. <laughs> I guess now we have to find someone else to play sexy distraction for us. <laughs> nope. Nope. Hey, they got a they got a pride flag on the wall. I'm great at table dancing. Oh, Jason. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Matt. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could make it. Wow, this uh video is really blowing up on social media. Uh, I think it's a great idea. Thank you. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was cute. I can't believe I missed them. The Court of Owls? Yeah. How have they operated so long in Gotham without us knowing? Didn't you say someone in the circus knew about them? Only is a scary story. You know, say Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight, she shows up, talk about the court, and they send a town to kill you. Joke's on us, I guess. Well, we have been talking about them. The Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule us one and all. I thought it was just a nursery rhyme to scare kids into behaving. Gotham still finds ways to surprise me. When Bruce began investigating the court, he wondered if even he was being too cautious, chasing a fairy tale. It seems impossible that someone could control Gotham from the shadows without Batman finding out. To keep that kind of secret for so long, we need to assume anyone with power in this city might be in on it. A grand conspiracy. I'm not sure Bruce would be gratified to find his suspicions were right. Nah. Nah, Bruce was always the I hate that I'm right type of character, if I remember correctly. Like a, I know I'm right, but I hate that I'm right kind of a thing, you know? I know you want to try. Any luck looking into those weird pills or the doctor's website? The website for the mysterious Dr. Q seems to have vanished, but we'll keep looking. We have to think this is Harley, but what is she up to? Is that not always the question with Dr. Quinzel? Yeah. Uh, let us know if you find anything. Of course. I have a new email. From Dr. Q&A Podcast. Last advice podcast you'll ever need. Why talk to your friends about your problems when you could talk to me, Dr. Q? I'm a fully licensed psychologist, and I'm here to save you from yourself. We've all had moments where we let nervousness and self-doubt stop us from getting what we deserve, but I say no more. Dr. Q&A, my new advice podcast, will show you how to be the you that you wish you could be with the actionable, straightforward advice. If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out my podcast and check and click here to submit your uh, questions 
for a future episode. Until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Alright, with that. Sorry, kid. Sorry, guys, you were talking, and I didn't mean to interrupt you. I do believe we have a guest. Aw, it sounds like a stray cat. Must be pretty gutsy to get in here. It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. <laughs> I would like to meet this cat. Have you met it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. <laughs> I'll ask yeah. one of the others to pick up some gourmet stuff on patrol. The little other cans, the tastier the food. And it's, that's usually the case because cat? capitalism. Yeah, the Bat family always has a thing for cats. Unfortunately, the regulators managed to escape with a lot of confidential data. Crap. Who knows what they got their hands on? I'll keep an eye on the usual black market. Ooh, I do have some customized stuff that I can do now. Steel gun metal. Um, let's go with that one. surface sooner or later the guy's out for blood babs look at the chaos back at star labs i know jason we'll track him down i promise Physical and mental preparation go hand in hand. Here, we can train the mind to prepare the body, but it requires deep focus. Let go of your self-doubt and focus on my voice. expected. Well done. I'm proud of you, Dick. Yeah, 
he felt it was the best way to prevent more people from getting hurt, and possibly to save Victor himself. Freeze is a brilliant scientist, and Batman always tried to rehabilitate villains. Was he able to come up with anything? Unfortunately, no. But at least we can use what he did have to monitor cryogel levels in the city. Okay. So. Come on, get off the- there we go. Oh, buddy. Morning, Alfred. Richard. <laughs> His Bloodhaven mug. He has a Bloodhaven mug. Oh wow, that's a that was a bisexual sun sunrise over Bloodhaven, I think. I think that's the bi fly bi colors. I don't remember for sure. I'm blanking. You know more than anyone. Being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> sure you aren't. Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. was an adorable scene. Those regulators were all too happy to do Freeze's bidding. They must be paying them handsomely. Victor has always had a penchant for working alone. If he's hiring outside help, he must have something big planned. So we'll just have to figure out what. Yep, that's usually how it goes. All right. <clears throat> Gonna do some maintenance. Oh, we have a robin thing. A robin thing over here. Uh, is it Tim's story? It's Tim's story. Cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, last
Lazarus isn't going to bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... He does. He would never. He would hate you for it. Bruce isn't this bike. You can't just change everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. My heart. All right, first things first, emails. <clears throat> to Tim from Alfred, Master Drake, please remember that the workbench is for everyone's use. When you have finished with one of your experiments, it would be polite to clear the space for the next person. I am writing this at my own behest and not because Master Todd has been yelling for the past five minutes. <laughs> Why can they never get a proper picture of this thing? I know they said the camera was recovered from the river, so that accounts for some of the artifacting on the images, but they're also behind trees at night. Like, come on, we've proven aliens exist. Monsters live in the sewers and literal magic exists, but Big Bigfoot is still a big question mark. It's not, it's just not fair. I'm legit considering a trip to Vancouver to try to spot it myself if you want something done, right? If you want something done, right? You know? New video, Pocket VR from the 90s. Hi, Skeleton friends. <laughs> You know Uncle Derek likes it, like it, likes it goofy around here, and there may be nothing goofier than Engage's failed attempt to bring VR to portable gaming in the mid-90s. Engage VR is hard to get a hold of, so while we've wanted to do this video for a long time, it just wasn't possible until now. Special thanks to Benefactor Supporter, uh, to Benefactor Supporter Ch Ch Cherubic Mike, for loading us his unit because these things are pricey online. Damn, this one took a lot of work, so please consider sharing. Your support means the world to us. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's update. Oh, wow, we have a big update for him. Cold snap. It's from level 9 to level 15. All right. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Ooh, look at that. All right. All right. And then odds. We're going to mix in. Eh, I'll worry about that later on my own time. Um, I can't believe Freeze just murdered Brad. someone at Star Labs. <laughs> Something's different about this. We have to get him under control. Whatever he's after, we have to stop him. Okay. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm going to mute myself and turn off my camera and just let them talk for a bit. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, there we go. And be back in a bit. Before he can hurt anyone else, we'll do our best, Tim. It's all we can do. just freezing people to death man i wish we could have been there to stop him we will next time he's screwed when we find him huh. 
All right, I am back. Let me turn my camera back on. Hello, everybody. All right. Swap into Babs. Gonna check her email. We did the interview one already. Hello, Barbara Gordon. Times are tough everywhere, but no more so than in Gotham. Just going out for a night with friends. It feel risky when your evening could be interrupted by a giant mud man, the snowman from hell, or any other number of the baffling beings that insist on calling Gotham home. Don't let Gotham's spiraling descent into a waking nightmare stop you from living your life. Hire, we guard you. With our simple to use app, we can hire you can hire a personal security detail to accompany you and up to three friends anywhere within the city borders for a transparent upfront hourly fee. Click here to install the app and get 50% off 15% off your first hire. Yo, that's a business that would kill in Gotham. Like for real. Like that would be more popular than Uber. Especially if it was inf uh, was affordable. And then inhibitions are for losers to Barbara Gordon from uh, ReQ. Totally real legitimate pharmaceutical company. <laughs> Dearest insert name here. Have you ever wished you had the nerve to ask that special someone on a date? Ever wanted to try stand-up comedy? Do you want to confront your asshole boss who doesn't know a goddamn thing about how hard you work every day? RQ or RQ or whatever can help you accomplish all of that and more. Say goodbye to your inhibitions and say hello to the you that you wish you could be. Don't live your life, RQ it. Um Yeah, that's another one of uh Harley Quinn's transparent things. Alright, Jason, you're up. Hold on. Something I forgot to forgot to look for. Does Batgirl have a story that's moved on? Ready? Doesn't seem to be. Hold on, let's look. Oh, I have to go to the Gotham Memorial. So I think I'm gonna take her out next so that she can do that. Um why was Star Labs making cryogel anyway? I mean, what do people other than freeze use it for? Oh, well, it's got lots of applications. One I've been following is the development of new superconductors. Electrical conductors, right? Yes. When they're used in microprocessors, they can increase processing speed. Well, exponentially. So, a faster computer. Well, if you ever want to build one of those, I'll give you a hand. Hey, thanks. Oh, the buddies. All right, Red Hood. All right, he's got to go up there. But we'll also check his email in the process. Incredible investment opportunities await from Markovian Gold 6. Oh, this feels like the Nigerian prince scams. Uh, hello, you are the one. Did you know that Markovia has recently opened three new precious metal mines? These include, yes, gold as well. This includes, yes, gold as well. We are looking for investors to open a, a fourth a very lucrative mine for gold with great return and other professionals. All we need is a commitment of... I'm trying to go for what they show as a Markovian accent in, like, the animated stuff and things like that. It's kind of like a mix between South Asian... Uh, um, not South Asian. Uh, Russian, like a, a Slavic accent and kind of and kind of a generic south asian kind of like a mix between those two but anyway uh all we need is a commitment of three thousand us dollars to get started and we can send you back your first five thousand dollar uh in earnings right away please click the link now before below the transfer transfer yeah yeah it's the nigerian prince scam but not daily recipes oh before I pursued it, blah, 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 I wasn't a great cook. I hate, I hate when recipes include things like the pre prefaces from, from people 
who share the recipe. Uh, yeah, okay. Wilds Books. Hi there, Jason. Thanks for shopping with us. The order has shipped. Thank you for your continued support. The Endless. The Red Tree War, which is part two in the end of The Endless. The Starry Depths, which is The Endless Part 3. The Re Blood Red Bargain, The Endless Part 4. And The Endless Night, The Endless Part 5. Oh, I love it. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to go play Xbox with Jason? Sorry, generic console. Way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger. Next level, pit of despair. Oh, it's like Never? just dance. Just dance or DDR. The undead may not be a good thing for him. Are you okay? Buddy. The Lazarus Pit? Yeah. It's stupid. It's not stupid, man. It's not stupid. It's never stupid. It's not stupid. You died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. I really do love that they have a pride flag on the wall behind them. Hey. Thanks, Babs. From Alfred to Jason about patrols. Master Todd, I couldn't help but notice that you have been going on longer and more frequent patrols of late, and I just wanted to ensure you are not burning yourself out. One cannot outrun their grief, nor can one beat it into submission. Make sure you are taking the taking time you need, is all. Oh. All right. All right, so we're actually going to call it there. Um Hold on just a second. Let me make sure that there's uh Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to call it there. Uh, sorry this went a bit late, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for spending the time with me. As I continue my way through this game, I am adoring it so far. Um, like, oh my god, it, I love it so much. It portrays each of the characters perfectly. Their traumas, their growths, their experiences, their connections, their everything. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. 
Oh, and I love I love it. I genuinely love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, what's it called? Of... Um, in-house, in -house, like, maintenance stuff. Things like crafting and upgrading and leveling up and all that type of shit um, before next time. Um, and we'll pick up essentially from here uh, next Friday. Unless something comes up between now and then. Um, so yeah, before we head out, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I've listed up here, which includes Yvonne B, who gave us a raid earlier. Uh, so if you're still here from that raid, thank you for, thank you for joining from that raid. Um, and thank you for supporting me and supporting her, and just thank you for existing. But anyway, it's also got Melador219, who is in the chat down here most recently. Um, and a few other friends of mine. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. And, oops, wrong button. Um, I said pause. There we go. And speaking of that link tree, I have <coughs> a link tree. And in that link tree, you'll find links to my socials, my Discord, my, uh, I always blank on what it's called, my Patreon. If you, I, it's right in front of my face. Uh, socials, Discord, Patreon, throne wish list all of that you can find in the link tree and the urls are right here on screen as you can see right below my face right down here um so yeah anyway that's it for me for the week we'll be back uh, barring anything unexpected happening we'll be back on monday um with assassin's creed chronicles russia starting that one um so, yeah, until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.